7-3 lead, eight points down. But then this is a team that has believed in Coach Tim Cohn, has believed in his system, and so far their belief has paid off. Nathan scramble for that loose ball. And a foul ball against Cyrus Baggio. It's only the first foul on Cyrus Baggio as Gabe Freeman makes a re-entry in the ball game. A big moment right now for Gabe Freeman. One of the one of the times, one of the few times that he's actually on the court and Diamond Simpson is not there. He can really impose his will right now underneath with his athleticism. And I was trying to short of that attempt, but Nathan cannot keep his hands on that letter. It'll stay with uh, Beerman with 12 seconds remaining in the shot clock. San Miguel has shot 27% from the three-point area in the first two games, but they have taken more attempts, about 24 a game. I'm sure that Coach Otangisen wants them to bring their shots closer to the basket today for a higher percentage look. Last touch on Arwin Santos. And just as you mentioned it, what did we see? First three shots so coming Jack from, uh, tap from the three-point area. The three-point area. But, uh, sabi mo, Diamond Simpson is not on the floor. Perfect chance for them to get Gabe Freeman his touches. He's provided the energy on defense, reward him on offense, just to make sure that he keeps his rhythm on offense here for San Miguel. Here's Sunny Toss. And showing us that he's A-OK. -okay. Play this game. And that has been the story for Alaska. They pulled someone out of that bench, and that guy seems to respond all the time. Sunny Toss, first time back, first touch. He gets a point. A balance shot from Gabe Freeman, but a foul is called against Larry Bonapier. Freeman only went to the line eight times. Make that uh, five times in game number two. Something that uh, he intends to increase if he gets his touches underneath. And sabi nga natin, this is a perfect chance since Diamond Simpson is not on the floor. Game Freeman for today, five points. And, and while you were saying that, uh, Alex Kabagdot goes back to the bench, played a total of about uh, eight minutes in, the, in this game. Key guy that has not responded so far in his first opportunity yes. in a championship was the main point guard during the season. Nine points, about more than five assists. But in this series, his point production dropping by six, only three points a game. Well, you know, third point guard is now brought in by Ochoa Tapense, Jonas Villanueva. Inside a game. But you know, Ben Ophina, the start of this game, he was actually okay. He was able to set up his team pretty well. And here's another steal, and Freeman leading the break. Jay Washington did not finish. A tip in there by Gabe Freeman. That's the way he wants it. Get the defensive stop. Push the pace. Score off the ball. 26-20 here for San Miguel. Another good start in quarter number two. And Freeman with eight points to his name. Remember, you talked about Ronnie how this unit right now, you got a second unit for San Miguel and same with Alaska. This is that unit for Alaska that really relies so much on Diamond Simpson. Yes. Kasi Cyrus Baggio. Another turnover here. Here's Jay Washington. Bounce pass to Villanueva. And now they set up their half-court set. Freeman thinking about it. Takes a 15-foot jumper. No. Larry Ponacier looking down court. For the chair, swings it over to Hugnatan. Hugnatan to the corner, Borboran. Good close out, Borboran. High looper, no good. Sunny Toss recovers the loose ball. And a steal here by Joseph Yo. And the ninja with a walk in the park. Defense of San Miguel right now, really picking it up. It's what they do, causing that turnover. We said Alaska can't afford to do that. And turnover so far, just like this one. Joseph Yo, it's been a spitfire so far in the series. Gets another two points. And a quick 30-second timeout. Called by Coach Tim Cohn, brought to you by Handy Fix. Our first aid in Bahimo, bounce all, seals all. And it has been a game of spurts here. Ela with uh, San Miguel going first blood. So, and Alaska coming back with their own run. And now... Here in the second quarter, San Miguel with another run. Six turnover points here so far for San Miguel. They have fueled their running game with efficient defense. They came out today in the first quarter with a tremendous amount of energy. 
perhaps understanding the fact that in the first two games they were nip and tuck with Alaska all the way but they just couldn't make the necessary defensive stops down the stretch to put down Alaska. All right, of course, the commissioners row a lot of VIPs in attendance, and uh, we did have the Leo Award earlier on. James Yap winning their second MVP. Rico Mario Hoffer winning yes, the Rookie of the Year Rookie Award. Of the year, and we'll give you all the other winners also of the other awards as we go on in this game. Here's the pass. Train down the leather. There's a double team of Nata now. Settles down, the offense. Backdoor play anticipated, another turnover. Here's Joseph Yo. Jonas Villanueva orchestrating the offense for the Pyramid. Villanueva, change of direction. Joseph Yo, no! Rebound to Diamond Simpson. Joseph Yo got a good look. That's all you can ask for. Guy's been hot the entire series. You give him those good looks. One, one, at one point, he's going to make you pay. Oh, sorry, mister, by Borboran. And Freeman drafts another rebound. But Miguel looking to increase this eight-point lead. This, this has been a problem right here for San Miguel. And sometimes they just take so long to create or start out that play. They started going for that play about 14 seconds in the shot clock. Now he eats it on the defense of Alaska. The young execution in is coming off minimal pressure from Alaska, which is opposite from what we're seeing on the other side. Extreme ball pressure from San Miguel, limiting the shot clock options for Alaska. A monster block there by Simpson. Here's Devance going the other way. An offensive foul called on Joe Devance. Hey, no. Alaska's offense seems to be in this array right now. They didn't have a point guard on the floor. Let's take a look at this block first by Diamond Simpson. Right now, L.A. Tenorio is inserted back in the ball game, and we will see Tenorio back in action after we take this short break. Here's Jonas Villanueva trying to get away from the defense of Tenorio. It will stay with the German with six seconds remaining. And right now, let's go over to Dominic. Coach Tim Cohn is asking him, boys, boys, why are we playing the tempo of the San Miguel Beerman? Up and down, up and down. We need to be able to play our game. Slow it down, be poised, sink your mind and your body. And lastly, take care of the ball because we're playing good defense, but we can't play defense against turning the ball over. All right, uh, that sequence, uh, not exactly good defense of Il Defonso, of course, underneath, and good defense on the other side with that steal by Freeman. Parang hindi nalimig ni Larry kung hindi sinasabi ni Tim Cohn. Nakakasabi na eh. Siguro natong pinaalala, pero yung magandang on the ball pressure, funneled him deep in the baseline, at nilaro na ng San Miguel yung passing day. Another outcome. And a put back of his own miss for Gabe Freeman who has 10 points. And, and what a difference every time Gabe Freeman is on the floor for San Miguel. When he was on the floor, they definitely had a plus in terms yes. of scoring. Every time he was down, kailan humahabo lang Alaska. And yung dami ng possessions dito ng San Miguel. They have at least seven more possessions than Alaska here in quarter number two. Could have been another turnover here for the Aces. Uh, two seconds remaining in the shot clock here of the Alaska Aces. And they're down by 12 points. I don't see the fluidity in the triangle offense right now of Coach Team Conas. The girl gives some points of wisdom here for uh, Larry from the chair. Here's Freeman. Oh! Well, not like seeing any defense play, you know, in that time. Full of defense. And Freeman now. He brings that lead on San Miguel to 14. Talk about upping the ante on defense. Here's another steal. This is the seventh turnover for Alaska in this quarter alone. And Gabe Freeman finishing that one off. All right, bonus shot is good for Gabe Freeman. So far, San Miguel has limited the Alaska Aces to two points here, halfway through. Uh, the second quarter. Well, San Miguel has forced Alaska to commit about 11 turnovers already. And for the series, Alaska only averages 13 turnovers in 48 minutes. 
This is the kind of tough defense that San Miguel has come out with against Alaska today. And another turnover to Booth. 